Here in the big monitor is a time lapse video of the Greenwood fire burning in northern Minnesota between Ely and the North Shore. Fire officials say that fire grew substantially today with wind playing a major factor. The fire jumped a major highway, prompting more evacuations. Good evening. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Firefighters are trying to contain that fire, which was sparked by lightning and first detected on August the 15th. Fox 9's Hannah Flood is in Silver Bay tonight with more on this fire. Hannah, you spoke with some of the evacuees. Yeah, I did. There was a public meeting tonight, and at that meeting was the incident commander for this fire, and he was really transparent in saying today was an extremely challenging day for them, especially with strong winds and the conditions they're dealing with. Now, people who live in this area and have been evacuated, some of them were expressing frustrations tonight. The Red Cross Help Center for Evacuees had to be moved further north. Some people saying it's making that help inaccessible. Meanwhile, many people are worried that today fire finally reached their home. And the sheriff came to the house and told me to leave right away. More than 150 additional properties were evacuated Monday, on top of more than 130 on Sunday, as strong winds pushed the Greenwood fire further northeast. Well, it's scary. It's scary as hell, you know. I mean, what can you do? Many prepared for that spread. I've got uh, 100, right around 100 sled dogs over there. And we pulled those out uh, Sunday night and Monday morning. And many watched it as it progressed. And there's the video. The fire incident commander says with so much smoke, it's hard to tell exactly how much the fire has grown. You can see it, it, it maybe doubled. Potentially growing to these affected areas, including a nearby lake where one homeowner showed us this video from his security system showing falling ash as the fire likely took over his property in areas where fire crews are struggling to keep up. Lack of resources, uh, weather, extreme drought, um, it's three of the things that firefighters hate the most. With no end to the Greenwood fire in sight, they say they'll do everything to protect property, but prioritize keeping the public and fire crews safe. We don't want this to hurt nobody. The forest will go back. Uh, and we can't, cannot jeopardize firefighters. We need them for the rest of this fire and, and future fires. Now, tomorrow the wind is expected to shift, so the incident commander said they're going to have to move their resources for more prevention efforts. The good news, though, he said there is some rain falling in states to our west, so he expects that some resources from wildfires out west will be coming here. No end in sight, though, for the Greenwood fire, and tonight the commander said it will likely be weeks before people will be allowed to go back to their property to assess any of that potential damage. Kelsey and Randy. That so is tough the tough to part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Hannah.